lowering the class drawbridge. Any profession which places obstacles in the way of talented aspirants from joining its ranks will be undermining its own self-interests, as well as failing to serve the public. I'd like to begin by discussing two things that this debate is not about. Firstly, this is not about a class ceiling. It's not so much about social mobility within the profession, but rather with entry to the profession itself. And I suggest that the better analogy is that of a drawbridge, as this creates the image of something that when the drawbridge is raised is simply impassable or unattainable. The idea of a drawbridge also creates connotations of wealth and privilege. And finally, the concept of a drawbridge links very strongly to the concept of a castle, of something mythical and almost fairy tale like And secondly, this debate is not about lowering standards or about merits, but rather it's about allowing able applicants a chance of entry, irrespective of class. I'd like to make three points. Firstly, I'd like to consider how the class drawbridge has evolved and the nature of this drawbridge. Secondly, I'd like to discuss why, or indeed should we care, about lowering this drawbridge. And thirdly, I'd like to consider how the drawbridge might be lowered. Finally, in conclusion, the class drawbridge, which has fostered an image of an unattainable castle and an impassable moat, should be permanently lowered. Thank you.